Triggers and workflow automations are one of the greatest assets of a sales force. In this instance, we have accounting seed installed into Salesforce and we're going to look at a sales order and also look at the invoicing process as it pertains to an order that was filled and shipped and the automation that we've implemented for sending the accounts payable person at your customer uh, location uh, the invoice that they need in order to, uh, to pay you. So in this case we have two orders, sample orders here. One was uh, paid with a credit card and the other one was a purchase order. So these are handled differently. The one with a purchase order has not been paid. The one with a credit card has been paid. So the processes are different. One creates a cash receipt uh, and applies that to the general ledger. The other one triggers a series of processes which is uh, create a PDF copy of the unpaid invoice and look for the accounts payable person in that account and send them that unpaid invoice so that they have it and you can get paid quicker. So let's take a look at the invoice, the sales order that was issued uh, with a purchase order. So this one has been uh, placed already. There's no billing here. So what we did was we coded a solution in here which added a billing line that you would not normally see in this drop down in the normal implementation of accounting seed. As soon as the order is shipped and you'll see down here we've got a shipment created. The order was shipped in full and the operator knows that as soon as they're done shipping the order and it's complete they can go ahead and click billing. That kicks off a workflow and as soon as that is done you will see that the status is changed to closed. Now you'll also notice down here at the bottom a billing has been created for this sales order. In addition, uh, this billing has been emailed to the accounts payable person. So let's go look at this um, account right here real quick. Here is the accounts payable person and what we did to identify them is we added just a quick checkbox here which makes them the AP contact for this account. So effectively uh, the trigger looks for that AP contact checkbox and then you'll even see down here that the uh, uh, order has been sent, uh, the invoice has been sent to the accounts payable person. Uh, so there's um, a trail, an audit trail of that activity and if we go back uh, we can also go look at that billing and those line items that appear on it and then the PDF uh, that is generated for it would look like this. So this is the uh, PDF for the order that was placed and this is a copy of what was sent to the uh, customer and they could receive the invoice and make the payment against that invoice without any action beyond the operator who completed the order and processed the shipment. It's incredibly easy and makes invoicing effortless effectively and really improves cash flow because now you're automatically invoicing your customers the moment that that order leaves the dock. It's this type of solution with triggers and workflows that make Salesforce a phenomenal platform to grow your business without adding more people and we here at Juno Rocket would love nothing more than to help you achieve your goals and put in these types of solutions that help you um, make your business more efficient. Thanks so much.